as with more than a decade of imperialist war in Iraq, Yugoslavia and Afghanistan, the abolition of free education and the introduction of tuition and fees, and the beginning of the end of the National Health Service. As a consequence, the Tories, with their Lib Dem hangers-on, have entered Parliament, knowing their predecessors had done much of their dirty work for them, and well and truly started the ball rolling on some major privatisation. The Labour Party have paved the way for many of, us, of many of the austerity measures which we have seen since this condemned coalition came to power. Measures which target the most vulnerable and marginalised sections of our society and reward the greedy, profiteering monopolies and trusts. For example, new legislation threatens those who have been out of work for three years or more to nice, now sign on at the job centre every day. However, if the climate cannot attend, then she or he will have their job seekers allowance stopped for four weeks for their first offence and 13 weeks for subsequent offences. Also, the wholehearted endorsement of the zero-hour contract dis disgrace to disguise poor employment figures has left thousands without benefits and with little to no income. Furthermore, the number of horror stories in the media about people who have died or been hospitalised after being declared fit to work and having their benefits withdrawn has been rising steadily. The government has refused to compile statistics on the fate of those who have lost benefits, but it is suspected that at least half of them have already fallen into total destitution and thousands are thought to have died. And what do Labour have to offer to remedy this in May? Just more of the same. Another version of Tory policy, which includes the same cuts, the same privatisation measures and the same imperialist foreign policy intended to destroy independent nations to fuel our economy with the rape of another economy, as we saw in Iraq and what we are currently witnessing in Syria and Ukraine. So what's the alternative? Workers must hold all their main capitalist parties to account and challenge their capitalist cuts agenda no matter what colour their flag and no matter how many so-called old socialists are associated with their past. We're here to say, fight all capitalist cuts and fight capitalism in general. Victory to the working class.